more with just a bunch of nerds and haggis and we've got another uh, teaching video and uh, we'll do a playthrough here of how to play Splendor. Uh, this is a new game I picked up and it's uh, easily rising to the top of my games played list. I think in, I've had it for a week and a half now and I've probably played about 25, 26 games of it. Uh, it's easy to learn, easy to teach, difficult to master. Oh, I had no problem. He won once, and so he, I'm surprised he's willing to take a second game of this. Retire as champion. So, we'll open up here. Uh, very nice quality components. The game comes with poker chips. several poker chips with uh, gems on them. So you'll have a total of 40. There will be 7 white for diamond, 7 blue for sapphire, 7 green for emerald, 7 red for ruby, and 7 black for onyx. There's also five, I don't know what that, uh, it's a wild, I'm not sure if it's a gem or a, what the symbol is on Let's that. Just say it's like amber. Uh, we could, but, oh, you know. Extract the dinosaur DNA from it. I know an amber and, you know, this game is classy and, well. I know an amber too. That amber is crazy. Not the one you know, the one I know. No, I know. I know that you know that I know. I, I don't know. I'm confused. So we're going to set up, it's a two to four player game, and this game scales up based on the number of players. So in a two player game, there will be f uh, five colored gems, there will be four of each, and then every game, no matter what, there will be five wilds. And then you also have a bunch of these noble tiles, and they're like bonus scoring points. And so you will randomly pick, in a, you'll pick, Players plus one, so three in a two-player game, up to five in a four-player game. There are also three decks of cards. There's one with uh, these greens at the backs with a one dot, uh, yellow backs or gold backs, depending on how your eyeballs work, uh, with two dots, and blue deck with three dots. These are... Um, they're like mines or... Uh, well, these are orders we've got to fulfill. Fill, yeah. And then and they, they have become, benefits on them. Yeah. Like they become like trade routes or you buy a mine or... So the point of the game is you are trying to score... It scores 15 points and you get them by completing these orders is the first way. Now this order has no point value on it, but it, to complete it you need a blue gem, a green, a red, and a black gem. And so deck one is full of zero and one points. So this gem is worth one point. And you also see there's a big picture of a gem in the corner. And this represents when you fulfill this order, you put it in front of you. And that counts as like a supply route. So level one, they all look like mines. So you have now an onyx mine. And that will help you down the road because when you need that, to yeah, build something. Yeah, that will count towards your total of gems that you own. Yeah, so like this here needs two blue and two green and black. But since I already have one black supplied to me, all I need to pay is two blue and two green. So shuffle these up, and then so the next deck is a little bit higher. There are one, two points, I believe there might be, yeah, and some three pointers in here. Uh, so the same thing, they have point value, they have a gem, and then these will have higher costs on them. So this one here for two points needs five blue and three green, or five white and two blue. And so these are like gemologists and trade routes, and but they do the same thing, they just have a little more prestige to them. And then the final deck, this is the one Haggis went after for his victory, is the big money deck. And big money! So these are worth three, four, and five points each, but they have steeper demands, like this one here requires three white and seven black gems but it's worth five points. Uh, this one here, seven white gems, gives you a blue and it's worth four points. So in the game, there will be four face up from each row. And there you go. So the final way you can score points is you have these noble tiles up here and they each have requirement on the side. So this one takes three black, three red, 
and three green gems. Now they don't, what is it, the, they're nobles that are kind of paying attention to your trade, and uh, if they, if you fulfill what they're looking for, they will join you and they will you know, follow you around, you could say, and they're worth three victory points. So this one's got three. But they're not looking for having gems, because gems just come and go. They're looking for people who have the resources. So for this one here, you need three of the cards with an onyx, three with a ruby, and three with an emerald. So at the end of your turn, if you fulfilled one of these, you will take them and put it in front of you. If you fulfilled multiple on that turn, you can only take one, but you can take one the next turn. And once the three are gone in this game, that's all there is. So Splendor is a very basic game in the sense that there are three actions you can take on a turn. You get to take one of them only. So, first action, as I just will show here, is you can take gems. You can take up to three gems, but one of each color, or one of different colors. Colors. Yeah, so that would be one, and there's, there's an alternate way to do that, is, and so I will show, is you can take, instead of the three gems of three different colors, I can take two gems of one color. But the exception to that is there has to be four in the stack. So by taking red, blue, and white, he has now eliminated that I couldn't take two of these, so I took two green. The next and option you have is, is you can take one of these and put it before you as a, like a, a reserve order. A reserve order. And then you get a wild gem. If there's any wild gems left. It can be one drawn from the deck, or it can be one that's in play. So I'm going to reserve as well. And so you know, I'm liking the look of this one here, but I don't want him to get it. So I'm going to take this one and put it face down in front of me, and I will also take a wild gem. And so put those. The third option that you have is you can fill an order. So if I had three white gems, and I could simply take this one here, put it in front of me, pay the gems back to the supply, and now I have this. I've scored this, so it's worth zero points, but it is worth one ruby towards all future orders. The game plays through until one player hits 15 points, and everyone gets to finish that round. So if I went first and had scored 15 points, game's over, because we each had the same amount of, of rounds played. If I went first and I got up to 15, he could still win it because maybe he's got 14, he scores two points, he finishes the game with 16, and that would give him a victory. If there's ever a tie in points, then you count up whoever has, I believe it's the most cards bought, or might be the least. I'll have to double check that. We've never come across a tie. Probably be the least cards. I think it was the least. Did it the easiest one. You did the it. toughest way, yeah. Um, but I'll double check that if we, you know, for before we finish this up. And the final thing is, if there's a tie after that, then it's just a tie. Okay, I'm just gonna check that one rule. The player has purchased the fewest development cards. Ones in your hand, like in your reserve, do not count. You are allowed when you're reserving. You can only can have three unfulfilled orders at any given time. So if you want to take another one, you have to fill one of those orders first, and then you can take another one your next turn. Uh, and once again, the gems here that are wild, if they're all gone, you can still take a reserve. You just won't get a gem for it. Uh, at the end of your turn, you cannot have over, or over 10 gems. If you do, you have to discard some of them back. Okay, so shall we start? Let's do it. Rock, paper, scissors. You go first. Always go with rock. Rock sharpened scissors. Okay. Or I could throw it on the ground. Okay. Well, take two weights. Okay, what am I going to do? I'm going to take forever. You know what? It worked for me last time. 
Let's do it again. Let's see what happens. So he's going blindly for it. The disadvantage to him is he doesn't know what he's getting, but it's early enough in the game that I don't know what he's going for right away, so I cannot block him. Will it pan out? We'll find we out. We'll see. <clears throat> so white, a black, and a red. The red was just to make sure he couldn't take two reds in case that's what he wanted. Well, I know what you're doing. You're going for that one. I ain't no fool. Where am I? The answer to that question will come on my turn. <laughs> Probably got some other nifty plan. Oh, I see what he's doing. Thinking. Thinking's hard. How many are here? Three, huh? Let's do that. Well, although that was tempting, I have three whites. Uh, oh, yeah. And so I just stack mine up here this way. You can see. See all the gems you have and then just put my red on top. You have to keep them exposed so your clones can see what you have. You can't hide how many you have or what colors you are carrying. So you will flip over a new tile. Ooh. I'm going to do that. Okay. Spend two white, a black, a blue, and a green. Should have just claimed that. That's good. Well, white, blue, red. So here's my one red used and green. One of each. I've got myself an honor smile. <coughs> Let's see two of these. Ah, can't take two of them. There's oh, only there's only. Ah, you got me there. Hmm. 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 Second one added to his reserve file. Black, white, and green. Black, red, and blue. I think I'm going to reserve this one here. Okay, I'm gonna spend. So that's what I got right now. I'm gonna spend blue, two reds using the card, and two blacks to get up there. Okay. Two black plus one from here, and I now have a sapphire mine. And as the score stands, it is still zero zero. Hunter? Yes, it is. Green, blue, and a red. Hmm. Blue, white, 
Okay, I'm gonna spend three blue, six green, and three red. It's a big four point score right there, so he's now got two rubies in play. Yep. Four points for now. Well, it's an early jump, and that's been your your ammo in this game. Go for the big points. Go big or go home. That's what I say. But I now have a lot of gems, so I've got four, five, six, seven, eight. So I can only take two. And I'm gonna go. Hmm. Grab a green. Grab a blue. That gives me two, four, six, eight, ten gem discs. Ten gems? Hmm. Yeah, I'm at my max. Let's go. Black. I need. I had a plan, and I'm going to change it up, because I'm not on the board yet. So I'm going to go three blue, one, two, and three, two black, and two white. So I'm going to score this green one right here for a point. I'm going to spend a white, a black, a red, and a green. Grab this sapphire mine. Okay. Ooh, um one blue, one, two, three, four green, and two red. That's another onyx, so now I have three points. White. Hmm. What to do? I know what I want, but I don't really have the resources for it. So I'm going to take another card here, and that actually panned out quite well for me. What am I going to I'm going to take two onyx. Um, take onyx, sapphire, and we have four to four. Just because he likes green, I'm going to take an emerald. Okay. That's the only reason for that. I'm going to spend two whites, two blue. One red. Snatch that up. Hmm. Three blue. So one, two, three. One white. And one green. No one has got a diamond mine yet. Nope. Um, 
Where did you buy? Oh, I had an order in my hand. Oh. I fulfilled my orders. So you go. You got an order, but you're keeping it in your hand? No, no, I, f I had two. I oh. fulfilled this Oh, one. that one there. Oh, yes. okay. Oh, I see now. Hmm. I'm going to say two white. Well, this is what we call the freebie. I've got two green and I have two black. So I'll take the freebie two blue, or one blue for two black and two green. freebie here, two blue, two green, and a black. Yahtzee! Mm -hmm. No wait, that's not Yahtzee. That's a straight, maybe? I don't know. Two white and a blue, that's not white. Ooh, that's tempting. Too tempting. So one, 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 and one. <coughs> so what I like about this game, and, and I there are probably other games like it. This is the first time I played one. Is it's like you're you're building two way. Building your own game, like an engine to, to build things. As the game goes on, these gems become less important. And as you saw, I've bought two in a row where I did not have to spend a single gem because mm -hmm. I have the resources for it. So the game, it starts off slow and it amps up really fast. I usually run out of that deck. Yeah, in, in every three player game I have, this deck would be gone because everyone's just building up and mm -hmm. then it's kind of the grab for some people go for the big cards, some go for the nobles. Uh, like this one here, I mean, you know, red and black are common ones here, so that's two nobles you can get in a couple turns. Uh, so, what do I want to do? Oh, I will do four green and score a point. So, it's now four to four. The only level ones that score are the ones that it's four of one color to get you a different gem. There, I believe there are multiples of them, but those are the only ones. Everything else in that deck is worth zero. Two and two score the soul. So here's another one. Four red. Gives you a blue. Uh, so let's see here. So close. I'm going to reserve this one here. the bat, I'm going to blindly take one of these. So the advantage is I've got a base for it already, but his advantage was he knew right off the bat. Now, so this is what I got as my random one. We will see if that pans out or not. Pans out. He's going for the big money again. Mm -hmm. Let's hope it needs diamonds. <laughs> I'm going to spend this one as a blue. So one, two, three, blue. The good thing is if you don't fill a reserve order, not negative points like some games. A game I compare this to uh, would be Ticket to Ride, where you can have your, you can take your extra objectives, 
But if you don't meet them, they count as negative. This, they do not do that. So how many are you sitting at here? Three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eleven gems. Oh, am I? I believe so. so. You got three and three and a two, so that's eight. I forget, keep forgetting that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So you can discard any one of them. Oh, look at that. Oh, that, that thing's not in the pool. Sitting there, I'm like, I've been here enough times, that doesn't sound right. Good thing it's got a little bit of a slope, so. Yeah. Okay, so you've started that blue one, yep. so my go here. Two black, three green, three white. Okay, so now we're going to do our first noble check because. The nobles are there are two patterns. They're either four and four or three, three and three. So I do happen to have three, three and three, but black, green, and white do not match any of the orders. So we will pass it back over to Haggis. Okay, I think I've got enough for this. Three blue, three green. Five red and three. Yeah, put it there because black. So he has completed another big one, so he's got seven points now. But I am one away from getting a noble. So this game is, is a lot closer than it looks. Can I get that this turn? Yes, I can. One, three, one blue, three green, red. So now I have three blue, three black, and three white. So I will claim this one noble here. And so that gives me eight points. Uh -huh. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, okay, I got lots of tokens. Uh, lots of space. Let's grab one of those, one of these. Giggles. Just so you can't take that one. Um. Yeah. I'm gonna take another freebie here. Take this. Oh, I didn't even look for those. That's my problem. I don't look for those. Wild, I'm gonna go blindly. I have about three wilds. I sit there yeah. and poker shuffle them or something. But yeah. I'm gonna go blindly. Okay. So I need red to fill that for either of those nobles. But I. Ooh, I want to do that. Yeah, I'm gonna do this. I always forget about the nobles. Yeah, Not but really close. that it's it's a different strategy to the game. Yeah. You should spend a lot of time down here. My problem is I find I focus too much down here on the freebie stuff, and then suddenly someone's sitting at 15 points, and I've only got about six, mm -hmm. so I can't even pick, put a make a push for it. So this time I'm going to. So I've got four black plus one is five. No, I can't do that. Never mind. Three black, one white, and one red. Because I was missing okay. red. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm gonna scoop this guy here. Looks all proper and stuff. So what does that give you now? You've got ten. Ten, yep. So I do need to make this push here. 
Uh, see, I got... I know what I want to do. Because a red would give me a noble, and then I could complete this one. Without burning my wild. But I think, because of how you're doing, I'm going to do this just to keep up. So... Oh, I'm still can't do it. I'm still one short. I thought I had two wilds. I need more red. Um, but for points, I'm going to take this for five and three. So this will be five and three. So that gives me five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, as I have black, red, and green. Alright. My noble game is on point. The noble game is on point. Fill this void here. I'm gonna take two of these. possible to score two points? Yeah, I think I can. So, five, six black. Or sorry, four, five black. Store this one here. So, two, four, six, seven, eight, nine. Plus six is fifteen. Mm -hmm. And you went first, right? Yep. So, that gives me the victory. What was your final tally there? Uh... Three, seven, ten. Oh, and just to rub so actually, if, if it did come down to it, I would have also scored the noble for that. But what were you working on? What was your big... Uh, I was trying to get that one. Oh, what was your hidden one? Oh, my hidden one was seven white, three blue. So the two you hadn't really worked on. I was close on this. Three white. I need the three red. And I also need the six black, so I didn't have enough wilds for it. And so everyone, that is Splendor. Uh, this is definitely a game worth picking up. I, I think this is going to definitely be my intro game. Now, I use Ticket to Ride a lot, and if I have time, Ticket to Ride is a great game. But this here is smaller, the box is quite small, and if you really wanted to, you could pack this up in a deck box with a, a dice bag, really. It's all you need so if you have the rules no, down. It's, it's a fun game. I, uh, I really enjoy it. But then, I haven't, you know, I've really enjoyed most games we play. Which is, I guess, either I'm very easy going or I just like games. Well, that's the is, you know, what? the difference, some people talk about games they don't play, but we, we, we have a, a pretty consistent group. Usually a bad game revolves more around something that happens between players than the game itself. Uh, so, uh, you know, we're not just saying we like these games because we have them. I mean, we do our research when we get a game for the most part. Um, you know, read some reviews, play it with some people. This one here, uh, I bought it at Amusing Games in Winnipeg, our, our primary game store. And uh, what had happened is I'd been hearing about it, hearing about it, and finally it was there and a guy was, a couple bought it, and a guy taught them how to play. And I kind of listened in, thought it was cool. Then another couple came in and the store owner taught them how to play. There's only one copy of the store in the store, and I'm like, oh well, no, like you know, I'm hoping. And they ended up buying something different, and I figured, you know what, I cannot pass this up. Who knows? You know, he was gonna get more copies in, but I wanted to start playing it that night. It had me hooked just looking at the components alone. I mean, that's that's high quality. That's a good. That's a good casino. Yeah. Well, well, maybe not casino. Well, the casino just... uses clay, but you know those plastic poker chip, those sets you can buy at Walmart and all that. That's what these are, yeah. basically. Like they've got some weight to them. You know. Or a pog slammer. If you remember pogs back in the day. That's what those remind me of. A big old pog slammer. <laughs> but anyways, this is Be More and Haggis. And uh, we we're just a bunch of nerds. Uh, play follow some Splendor here. Follow us on uh, Twitter. We're on Facebook. Always uh, like, comment, and subscribe. We always want to hear from you. And definitely come back, because, uh, you know, after that Sushi Go mishap, this is uh, two wins in a row, or th three wins in a row for me, isn't it? Something like that. Red Dragon in. Yep. And then I won at Battle Sheep. Mm -hmm. 
And then now Splendor. So that puts the series at four to four. Oh no. It is back. So yeah, come back and see round nine of the Haggis Be More head to head Let's Play Challenge. This is Be More and Haggis signing off. See y'all next time. Good.